Hello everyone, hope you are having a great day and welcome back to my channel. To compare the grass fed beef and green fed veggie, I ordered two pieces of steak in a New York style steakhouse in Melbourne. In this video, I will talk about these two types of beef. If you like my travel and food content, please don't forget to subscribe. After I start this channel, some family and friends have been asking me to make a video for steak. Today, I am finally making it happen. I'm very excited about it. In this video, I will talk about the feet, the rating, the color, the flavor of grass-fed beef and green-fed veggie. Grass-fed cattle are raised on natural pasture and the grass is the majority of their feet. However, when the grass quality is poor, farmers also use grain to supplement this cattle's diet. Green-fed cattle are also fed with grass in the beginning of their lives, and their diet will be transitioned into green-fed diet for the remainder of their life. To be classified as green-fed in Australia, cattle must be on green-fed diet for over 60 days. Green-fed diet can include um, barley and wheat, and uh, at the moment, green-fed cattle is less than 5% of total cattle in Australia. In order to enhance the marbling in the meat, veggies need to be on green-fed diet a lot longer sometimes over 350 days. Australia has the second largest population of Wagyu in the world and also has two Wagyu beef rating system. One rating is by Ausmeat and the other one is by Meat Standard Australia. Both rating systems have marble score from 0 to 9, with 9 being the best. This piece of uh, powder house is from a local supermarket. It is delicious, it is beautiful. However, we can't see much marbling in this steak. I guess the marble score for this steak is probably zero. <laughs> the steak I had in the steakhouse the other day had a marble score of five. If any value expert is watching this video, Please leave a comment and let me know if the steak I had in the restaurant should be rated 5. Because of pigments in the grass, the fat in grass-fed beef is normally slightly yellow. Green-fed beef normally has brighter and whiter fat due to the higher level of sugar and fat in the green. Grass-fed beef normally has a manual heavy taste that is always described as a gamey or meaty. Green fat beef is supposed to have a more buttery and a sweeter taste because of the higher level of fat it has. Both steak I had in the steakhouse the other day were delicious. I loved both of them. However, the taste of the veggie was far more superior. The buttery taste was incredible and I actually can feel part of the meat melt in my mouth. Hope I share some interesting information with you in the video and please like, comment and subscribe my channel. In September, I will be traveling to Morocco, Portugal and Ireland. I promise you, I will collect a lot of interesting content and share with you later this year. See you next time!